Hi, it's Angela French from Really Good Stuff. I'm here tonight to show you something so exciting. It's a brand new product we have and it's called Foam Alive. But I'm gonna need a little help, so I've recruited my daughter, Elizabeth, or Liz, to come and help me. So, <laughs> hi Liz. Hi. Fun helping at home with mom. So, <laughs> today we're gonna talk about, like I said, Foam Alive. Now, Foam Alive is a brand new product we have in our Steve Spangler Science line. It's completely cool, as you can see. It is another polymer. Some of you may know about our orbs. Those are a polymer. Those are a slow-growing polymer. They can grow, like, overnight. Then we also have InstaSnow, which is our fast-growing polymer. And then Foam Alive. Guess what the best thing about Foam Alive is? What? You don't have to grow it. It comes already ready in this package. There's no adding water. It never dries out. It's awesome. So I broke this out the other day to get ready for the video. And I gave this to Elizabeth <laughs> while she was watching TV. And yep. she literally sat here for an hour yep. in the bucket playing because it's so awesome. So I'm going to let her play with that a little bit while we talk about some of the kits we've made. You can buy the Foam Alive by itself, which your kids will love. And the best thing, like I said, is that it lasts forever because it never dries out. And watch what it does. It just breaks apart in your hands. It's easy to clean up. Uh, you can store it in a bin with a lid just to make sure you don't get a lot of dust and stuff in there. So I'm gonna tell you some of the kits we've created. Like I said, Spangler created the Foam Alive. That's their line, but us teachers at Really Good Stuff like adding some curriculum for you. So let's start with this one. This is our Sensory Discoveries Kit. So you'll get Foam Alive and the orbs and the snow. So the fun thing about that is you can rotate these out. Again, the orbs and the snow, for those of you that don't know, once the water evaporates, it'll go back to its original form and you can regrow it. So let me just show you so our can of the orbs. Look how tiny they, these are, comparatively. It's awesome. These are great, like we said, for sensory. There's all kinds of different activities you can do with them. You can make patterns with them. You can hide objects down there and have the kids feel around, try to identify what it is before it comes out. So that's one that you get, the foam alive, and then the snow. So I'm going to have Elizabeth help me with the snow. So we're going to show you in this glass little container here so you can really see how fast erupting it is. So you get a whole jar like this. This jar makes three gallons. So it's awesome. So we're going to simply put a couple little scoops in there. One more. One. You think one more? Yeah, one more. She always liked more. <laughs> <laughs> Now we're going to add the water, so this will be easy for you to see, and just watch. Adding water, one, two, three, look at that, isn't that awesome? <laughs> you can barely hold it. So it'll just keep erupting out of here. This again is awesome, it's cold to the touch like the orbs, because the water is constantly trying to evaporate. That's why it stays cool. Three might have been too much, because we've got some here at the bottom. <laughs> but that's like saying too much fun. You can never have enough. Nope. So this is a fun one, too. Woo! Okay, so now let me show you another kit we have, which is the Foam Alive and the Molds kit. And, of course, instructions on the back. So this is our second kit. And all these kits come with this uh, bin that has the lid, too, so you can close everything up and store it. So you get a large star, you get a couple crescent moons, you get some little balls or orbs. This also works as a great tray to put the orbs on because it holds them in place. So you can do patterns, tic-tac-toe, all kinds of stuff in there. And then we have this one that has four different shapes. So I'm going to have Liz make a shape. The thing about the Foam Alive is the harder you pack it, the longer it takes to fall apart. But it will eventually fall apart. So she's going to squish that down in there, and we're going to see how this shape turns out. 
Ready? So I'm gonna hit it on my hand. And look at that. Yeah! Look at that square we got. It's, it's, I hope you can see that. It's so much fun. So a fun activity for this would be uh, build a lot of squares out of the foam and try to stack them up before they start falling apart. You can see it'll start cracking. Again, you can make a little ball out of this mm -hmm. and it will start falling apart. I did this one pretty packed. <laughs> Look, there it goes. There you go. I mean, tell me the kids will not love that. So the more you pack it together, the longer it'll stay. Oh, you can do another one? Sure. Okay. Let's see if we can get this one out. Ooh, a diamond. Isn't that fun? So the Foam Alive comes in three different colors. We've got the blue, the green, and purple. Purple's my favorite color. That's why I chose that one. It's my favorite color. <laughs> that's really why. Oh, that's why. So again, that is the Foam Alive and Molds kit. Then another kit we have, um, I would say for some younger children, is the Foam Alive and Formations cards. So these are a bunch of task cards. Here's your instructions. You'll notice you get three different colors of cards in here. So let's explore. The blue ones are for you to try to create shapes. So we have 2D and 3D shapes. It'll even ask you to make a worm out of the foam alive. So you're trying to make these shapes before they fall apart. So this is a good one. So I'm gonna have Elizabeth try to make a beach ball before her foam alive falls apart. So remember, roll it, pack it tight, and then you're gonna put it on the card. The cards are laminated, so that's awesome. You don't have to worry about getting them dirty. Let's see how she did. Woohoo! Yeah! And it started falling apart. Oh, like that stayed there. pretty good. Look at that, that's good. Okay, now still using the foam alive. These ones are placing the foam in different places. So this one here we're going to do is place a blob of Foam Alive above the city. So Elizabeth, can you place a blob above the city? I hope she knows this. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> so there's different ones in there of those. And then there's these types where you try to add stuff to the picture. So this one, Elizabeth, here's your challenge. You are going to try to add two meatballs to the picture before... Two? Two, before the foam alive falls apart. Let's put some of this back in here. You can see it just comes right off the cards. Seems like a little messy, but easy to clean up. It'll be easy to vacuum up. You can just gather it up in your hands. Look at her, two meatballs. Yeah. <laughs> so that's awesome. So that is our formations kit, formations task cards kit. And then the last one I'm gonna talk to you about is this one here. This is the polymers and task cards kit. So like I told you, these are all polymers and you can keep playing if you'd like. She loves playing with this stuff. <laughs> so these are written for kids a little bit older and it gives you a bunch of different experiments. So right here, let me show you. Um, we've got vocabulary about polymers. Oh, we have a visitor on the back counter. Um, so here's vocabulary card, and then we go into different things you can do with the three polymers. Because again, you get the orbs, the snow, and the foam alive. So I'll read you a couple of them. Hydration. Observe how each of the polymers acts or reacts when it comes in contact with water. So of course you know your snow is going to grow, your orbs are going to get bigger. So now Elizabeth, I want you to make like a pancake or a pancake, whatever, and you're going to float it here on top of the water. Or maybe oh. it doesn't float. Maybe it sinks. Hmm. Let's see. Make a cake and then just push it down or just lay it on top and let's see what happens. I could see you, you know, creating boats with this, all kinds of stuff. So look at that. See how it floats? And when it gets wet, you'll be able to mold it a little bit more. So if you're having a hard time with some of the other ones, just spray a little water in there and it'll dry back out to what it originally is. So that was hydration. Our next task is dehydration. Observe how long it takes for the polymers to completely dehydrate. So that's all the water leaving. So for this one, you will not need the foam alive. 
because we already know it doesn't dehydrate. It stays exactly like it is for the rest of its life. <laughs> okay. Uh, fresh water and salt water hydration comparison. So this is where you're going to take a scoop of each of the three polymers. You're going to try growing some with wa regular water and with salt water. Some of you might know what's going to happen for that one. So then we're going to also freshwater and saltwater dehydration comparison. So you're going to compare how those two shrink back down. You can see this is great for experiments. You can time things. You can take pictures. All kinds of stuff. Seed growers. I don't know if you know this, but you can actually grow plants for sure in the orbs. Can you grow it in the snow? There's water in there. Will it grow in the foam alive? Great questions. Ah, substan substance absorption. So what will happen if you try to grow these with different types of liquids? What if you grew it with milk? Ew. <laughs> she didn't think that'd be good. What if you grew it with like seltzer water? Do you think that would affect it? I think it would do something. It would do something. Yeah. Okay, the next one is sinkers and floaters. Um, you can pl place objects on each of the three and see which ones will sink, cause objects to sink in them. I know that uh, it might have to do with weight. Did Maybe. We can see this little tray sunk a little bit. Mm -hmm. Then we've got colorful polymers. So this is where you can add um, color fizzers that we sell on our site, or you can add food coloring. And see what happens. Do you think the orbs are going to absorb food colored water? Depends on if they're already dehydrated. I don't Maybe know. They're dehydrated? It's a good question, right? Yeah. Oh, this is a good one. Freeze. Now, I know for sure the Insta Snow, we have molds that you can put the Insta Snow in and you can build a snowman. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I'll have to show you that one. So that's fun. The orbs will freeze. I don't know. Do you think the foam alive will freeze? No. You don't think so? I don't know. Here you go, volume, hot or cold. So take a scoop of each, grow some, grow the snow and the orbs in hot water and compare it to cold water. What do you think happens? Hot or cold? What do you think grows think, them the biggest or the most? I think hot water. Probably, probably. Yeah. Um, clean up these polymers. So here's your stem activity. So for this one, you're going to create devices to pick up the three different types of polymers. So this would be good if you had like a cookie tray. Um, you can create something with like a, a paper towel roll or some paper and some sticks. Nicole's been doing a lot of STEM videos on Wednesdays. Mm -hmm. So there'll be some ideas there for you. Um, digital presentation and digital storytelling. Wouldn't that be fun? Take, take a slow motion picture of the ball falling apart or the snow growing that would be awesome look at that it's so much fun mm -hmm. um, sensory writing again we mentioned that the snow is cold and the orbs are cold because the water is trying to dehydrate so this is a good way to for the kids to use their senses and write about it what does it feel like does it smell like anything I don't know how to writing this is always a good one for the kids when they have to explain to, um, at this time in our lives, to siblings or to parents, or you know, make a video for grandma. She'll wanna know how they grew snow. What are the steps? Always important. And then polymer informational writing. So this is one where you can do some more research on polymers, different types of polymers. I remember the day that um, Erica came into work and said, oh, I looked at my dog's flea collar and do you know it's made of polymers? Makes sense. There's so many things made of polymers. Now polymers are molecules tightly woven together. That's why when you grow them with water, they expand. Like we said, this is a totally different type. If your kids love slime, this is awesome. And again, the snow, it may seem messy, but literally if it's on your carpet or whatever, just leave it overnight. And when it dehydrates, you can vacuum it right up. And the orbs are easy enough to pick up. And the foam alive, if you put some down, if it's like on your counter, if you roll it in a ball, and then you go along and pick it up. Remember like we used to do a silly putty? Oh yeah, I remember doing that. Yeah. 
And if you roll it, if you go like this with your hands, you can roll it. And just roll it off and put it right back in. Again, these kits are available on our website. This is something that will keep your kids occupied for hours. It's great for science inquiry, different kind of experiments. I'm sure you guys can think of your own experiments to do with it. Okay. So, thank you, Liz, for helping us. Keep, keep your husband busy, too. It might <laughs> keep your husband busy, too. <laughs> Peanut gallery over there. Anyway, so, again, it comes in blue, green, and purple. Right now we have it for a special price of $19.99. And I just want to show you, this is one pound. So someone earlier commented, I put a little video on Instagram on my page, and they were like, oh, that's like kinetic sand. It kind of is, but it's more like foam. I mean, this was all one package. And you can see, it's just, it's a dream to play with. I remember when Jeff from Steve Spangler Science brought it in the office, and he was like, I have to show you guys this. He handed us all a little clump and for an hour, all the adults in the room, vice presidents, directors, <laughs> all of us just sat there playing with it. It's a ton of fun. So you know what I wanna do? I wanna give away a bag. So what I want you to do is comment, if you were to get a free bag of Foam Alive, which color would you want? Would you want the green? The green's pretty cool. It's like neon green almost. So that's one. Or the blue, the blue is gorgeous. Or the purple. The other thing I wanna tell you, if you just get the Foam Alive in the bag, it comes with a little instruction card that also gives you some different activities that you can do with it. So, check out the link above, and uh, I hope you guys are trying to find some good in what's going on, and trying to do some fun activities with your kids at home and your kids on screen. See you next time.